welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine, and I have my really good friend, Dilo, from work. What's up? I brought her here for a few reasons that we're going to talk about a little bit later because she gets kind of going when we bring it up. So, I'm going to start it off. We're talking about dating today, and obviously it's from a woman's point of view, so don't get too upset, guys. Just learn from us. That's all you can really do. Mm -hmm. So, let's say you meet a guy and you like him. Okay. And you haven't known him for a very long time. Okay. Would you ask him out? If I meet him and I like him, haven't known him for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't see what the problem is. You can make it casual at first, you know. Um, what is that coffee that she likes to date? We'll talk about it. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, you know, yeah. coffee. You go out for coffee for dates? That's like a, a good formal meet and greet. That's like a good <laughs> first casual meet and greet. Like, yeah, let's, hey, you want to grab coffee? So you would? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would ask him out for coffee or like something like that. Something like, yeah, that's fine. Um, I am a little bit more traditional, so I prefer the guy to approach me first. I have this secret. I need all the guys to close your eyes and cover your ears. This is for my ladies. Okay. So if you ever want a guy to, who you like dig into approaching, all y'all know is this. <laughs> so Give excited. him five uninterrupted sec seconds of eye contact. That's it. Five. I'm going to try. I this. mean, like, like. I'm going to the bar. And there's there's two levels. Either you'll do like a cute little smile, like just five seconds, you'll smile, or you'll do like a like a sexy look. That's a long Either time. Way, it is, and it can be a very awkward. Let's smile. I mean, let's look at each other for five seconds. Okay. 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 It can get awkward. Yeah, it's gonna be so awkward. I'm gonna bring out my timer. It works every time though. I've met like long-term boyfriends from like staring at them and then they'll be like walk up to me later, hey what's up? <laughs> okay you guys, yeah, I'm, gonna good, see, like, I'm gonna see if I need to even hold this five seconds. Are you stare. doing a sexy one? <laughs> I'm just gonna try to hold the stare. I can't even okay. be sexy about it. Okay. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Seconds of my life. Ladies, trust me, okay? I'll do that. I'm gonna try it. Not at work because there's nobody there, so don't get no ideas. But I go places. So what if you do the five second stare and he comes to you, you guys go out, and he wants to split the bill? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You ask me out, the very least you can do is pay. No, what well, I, I I don't know why do you want to split the bill, okay? If you say it's something to do with money, if money is that big of a factor, you shouldn't be dating. Get your priorities together. First. Or choose where you're taking her. All right, wisely. you don't got to take me to Benihana's. Yeah, I don't go to the Lulu's. We can I go to, you can have, you can have a picnic and you can make some sandwiches. Not me. And we can do it like that. I don't really care. It's really the thought about it, but like, we shouldn't be splitting the bill the first time we hang out. I think you sh you're the man. You invited me out. Take care of it. I feel the same way. When you first meet a guy and you go on a first date, are you already thinking in your head like, oh, maybe that can be my potential boyfriend, be something. Like, how do you go about that? Because I feel like guys are always like, oh, well, you're trying to rush into a relationship. And I feel like, I don't really care what you feel. <laughs> okay. Let me just touch on that real quick. Here's the thing about this generation. This generation has so many rules and regulations when oh it comes to dating, God. okay? Like you just said, oh, you trying to rush into a relationship? Should there be a time on the way you feel about somebody? I agree with her this time. Like, here's what I think. If you vibe with somebody and you just met last week and that's what y'all want a commitment, go for it. If y'all want to, I've known couples who have waited 10 years before they make a commitment. Then go for it. Do what makes both of y'all happy. There's There shouldn't be no rule book behind the shit. There shouldn't be all these different rules. If y'all vibe, y'all get chemistry, that shit is hard to come by. And the thing that's stupid, let me tell you, is it doesn't matter if we wait three months to date or six months to date. Nigga, if we stop talking after a year, that year is the same 12 months 
that we spent. Is this a personal thing for you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, it's real. It's real. It's uh, been there before. Okay. So that's how I feel. I mean, if you, you vibe with somebody, you like them, and... Yeah, it's personal for me. Let's you know. Let's just put it out there. I date guys my age, I'm 23. She thinks I should date older. Yes. And maybe that's one of the whole dating younger things that they feel like, I don't want to rush in anything, which is really them just not wanting to be in a relationship. So it's like, why even talk? But whole nother YouTube channel. So, mm -hmm. tell them, go ahead on your little why I should date, why women should date older guys. Okay, so let me just get out of the background story before y'all think that I'm just out here dating grandpas and Sugar hip and it's not that. <laughs> It is, okay, so I prefer to date between 30 and 40, flat, okay? I'm, I'm 25 years old, okay? Now, the reason why is because I feel like men at that age, if they're grown up here, um, typically they've gotten all their bullshit out the way. Typically they're not trying to really be like a hoe, and they'll keep it real with you. Even if they are on some hoe shit, if you're a grown ass man, you'll keep it real with me. It's respected. If you can tell me the truth, even when it's something I don't want to hear, even when it hurts, it's, I respect that more than a little ass boy playing games and he want his cake to eat it too. He That's wants true. to mess with all these different girls, so he's gonna lie to get his way. A grown man, if he's not ready for a relationship, or if he isn't, I've had like grown men like flat tell me, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to go hang out with old, old girl. It's respected. Like, okay, I get it. You know, I'm not the only one. I'm gonna go on a date with the older guy because okay, yeah, I'm talking to this, that guy, but he's not my like boyfriend, so I can still date other people. Okay. So I'm gonna go on a date with an older guy. Okay. You have to go on a date with the younger guy. One day, we're gonna give these guys one try, and then we're gonna come back. How young is young? You're 25. Date somebody 25, 25, 26. Ooh, this makes me cringe. Cause she does 30 to 40, so you guys, that's like taking her five years back to her, you know? I couldn't even take him seriously. The one day, and we'll come back with the results. I couldn't take you guys him seriously. How that is so harsh. It was. I'm excited. I feel like I'm gonna meet, hopefully he's established, handsome, <sighs> graduated from HBCU, real fine. King dog, where you at though? Oh, you're particular. God. <laughs> Not particular, but if I could build my man, if he's gonna be 30, I mean, that's what I want. Okay. Like dating's like a business. Or not that you feel okay. like but you know someone who feels that way. Okay, so my ex-boyfriend, my most recent ex, um, who will choose to leave anonymous. <laughs> For the safety of himself. <laughs> <laughs> but um so we dated for I want to say maybe a year and a half uh, it, it was all a blur a long okay time. it was all a blur I really don't know we it was a blur anyway we dated for some time and um he would look at dating as like a business now I agree and I don't agree but let me give you the background story so when he would say business I think he meant like how can we build together if I'm dating you, how can we, do I see you as the mother of my children? Can I see you helping me get more money? Can you help me get more money? Can I help you get more money? Can I help you be a better person and vice versa? All these things. Now, those all sound like great things, right? And they are. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. He said he was dating with purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> dating with purpose, which is great. Now, here's the problem. When people think like that 100%, sometimes they leave out the things that also are important in relationship. For example, the emotional side. Aww, he forgot to care so, about your feelings. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and you know when the heart gets into it, fuck the business. Yeah, which I, like, I still have the most respect for him. Um, he, he's really a great, great guy, like, for real. And, and uh, he taught me a lot, you know? I think you should date with a purpose and, and should go into it with some sort of business mindset, especially when you get to that age where you do start to think about things like marriage and kids. People will have a kid with whoever, not thinking that I'm almost buying to you for 18 years. Forever. Like 18, 18 years. years. Forever. And they'll go around like, oh, we had a baby. We having a baby. Like, did you think about 
Did you think? Months after you got pregnant, did you think? You know, so in those, in that way, I, I get what he, what he, the concept behind dating uh, as a business, but you also have to remember to love that person too. It's not always gonna be pretty. It's not always gonna be easy. Your sometimes. stock is gonna go down sometimes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, you know, I need you to take off your business hat because right now, like, I need you to just hold me and like, love me and like. And we're both tourists, so we need that. Like, we need a man's man that can just like, love us. And Taurus are low-key sensitive, too. I'm a freaking crybaby. I will act the toughest. And try to be tough about it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll be tough until I don't have to, and then I'll just, like, break down. One night stands, then. Are you okay with having those? Why you're not rushing somebody on the flip side? I mean... Can I pass that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I have so many different... On that note, we're going to wrap this up. Like... She passed. We got her to a point to where she was quiet. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I cannot wait for us to go on these dates and come back. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. Yes. I really enjoy doing this. It's been awesome. Bye.